take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Of course, if your browsing is normal and safe, then secure boot is usually all right turned off. It can also depend on your paranoia level. If you're someone who would rather not have internet, because of how insecure that has the potential to be, then you should probably keep secure boot enabled. Take our lead. What happens if we disable the secure boot in a computer? A2A. It makes it possible to boot up software which is not explicitly trusted as indicated by an encrypted signature. The theory is that it exposes you to possible malware on media from which you might try to boot or malware in drivers you might try to install. Let's help you make your mark. Secure Boot is a security standard developed by members of the PC industry to help make sure that your PC boots using only software that is trusted by the PC manufacturer. Support for Secure Boot was introduced in Windows 8, and also supported by Windows 10. Take our lead. Secure Boot is one feature of the latest Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, UEFI, 2.3. One specification, Errata C. The feature defines an entirely new interface between operating system and firmware, BIOS. When enabled and fully configured, Secure Boot helps a computer resist attacks and infection from malware. Let's help you make your mark. After disabling Secure Boot and installing other software and hardware, you may need to restore your PC to the factory state to reactivate Secure Boot. The BIOS menu is designed for advanced users, and it's possible to change a setting that could prevent your PC from starting correctly. Make your mark, take our lead. The only reason we do not provide a signed UEFI, NTFS bootloader, which would avoid requesting that you disable secure boot, is because Microsoft, again the only entity that controls the secure boot signing process, have unilaterally decided, for no reason that stands the test of scrutiny, that anything licensed under, Let's help you make your mark. Clearing the secure boot database would technically make you unable to boot anything, since nothing to boot would have corresponded to the secure boot's database of signatures, checksums allowed to boot. Make your mark, take our lead. Secure Boot prevents a sophisticated and dangerous type of malware, called a rootkit, from loading when you start your device. Rootkits use the same privileges as the operating system and start before it, which means they can completely hide themselves. Make your mark, take our lead. 3. Secure Boot doesn't protect anything or isn't useful. It is entirely possible that your specific use case and risk tolerance is such that it is not an overall benefit for you to use Secure Boot, but there are real benefits to it. Take our lead. When enabled and fully configured, Secure Boot helps a computer resist attacks and infection from malware. Secure Boot detects tampering with bootloaders, key operating system files, and unauthorized option ROMs by validating their digital signatures.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.